two more games left in the fourth season at Stuttgart, the first of which is the cup final against Mainz. Since they have finished 16th in the regular league, it is safe to say that I am going to be quite disappointed if we lose our third cup final in a row. Also, if we lose, I am eating this hat. Let's go. Hey guys, my name is Jochen aka Leo Demos and welcome to part 37 of Stuttgart über alles. In this FM21 series I try to transform VWB Stuttgart in Germany from a newly promoted Bundesliga club into a European giant. If you are enjoying the series so far or if you are new to the channel and this is the kind of content you were looking for, feel free to support my channel by liking the videos and by subscribing to the channel, whack on that notification button so you won't have to miss a single video that gets dropped. Since you were last here, we have finished the regular season um, by winning against Hertha Berlin and losing against Bayern Leverkusen. Why did we lose? Well, a couple of reasons. I did play the Certitudo tactic because a lot of players were getting really tired and I wanted them to be fit for today's game and of course the Euro Cup final in the next episode. Also, look at these match stats. It simply wasn't our day because we had two shots, zero on target and an XG of 0.14. 39% possession. Tell me a game with these match stats where you in fact win it. Also, we had Maddy Camara sent off in the 62nd minute. So, yeah. Dreadful game. Of course, we were already crowned champions. So who cares, you could say. But still, maybe not the best way to end the regular season. Because of course in today's episode we are playing Mainz in the cup final and after that we have one more game left in this fourth season, the Euro Cup final against Arsenal. League table. And this is how we have finished that fourth season. We had 79 points out of 34 games, 9 points clear of second place Leipzig and 12 points clear of Hoffenheim. Bayern still finished in 4th position, so they did qualify, I think, for the early qualifying rounds of the Champions League, I'm not really sure, but they did. Dortmund, however, once again failed to qualify for European football in 8th position. Mainz have finished 16th, as I mentioned in the intro, but they did win the playoffs, so they are staying in the Bundesliga, but still, man, I mean... If there was one team which I could pick to play the cup final against, it would probably be one of these bottom three, right? So we can't complain about that. We will just have to see how we deal with that. As far as player stats go, Mr. Sandro Tonali, as I mentioned already, is by far, well by far, he is simply the best player in this Bundesliga at this point with an average rating of 7.5. Also almost tops the assist list by having 14 assists, only Amiri from Bayer Leverkusen does better than Tonali. Also Ruben Blanco, an awesome season, 18 clean sheets out of 34 games. Sweet. And now the main event for this episode, of course, the cup final against Mainz. Tactical meeting, please. Um... Make changes, I will deal with that in the team selection screen where we will go right now. Because we have one major injury, Yurukai is out for what, two to four weeks, so his season is definitely over. Which is a shame because he was one of our two starting center backs, but I think we'll be okay. Because I am going to rest as many, well rest, I'm not going to start as many players as possible with a high injury risk being, for example, Amadozic. So I am going to start Pizzala, which means he is our captain in this game, which is okay, which is fine with me. Um, but just so you guys know that, I think apart from Yurukai, we still have Makarov and Mitrovic who are injured, but would they be starting if they weren't? I'm not really sure. The 11 to go out there and hopefully score a lot of goals against Mainz and win our first cup are these. Blanco, of course, in goal. Sosa, Tuan, Zebe, Pezzala and Salamakas as our back four. 
Denali and Camara in midfield with Renier as an attacking midfielder in front of them, Leda as a Raumdeuter on the left wing and Gonzalez as an inverted winger on the right, topped off of course by main striker at Stuttgart, Matthias Arezzo. Let's see, we have some players and who would that be, dear football manager? Renier, Sarah, Olsen and Baikara. Only Renier is a starter. And he lacks tactical familiarity with the team shape. I mean, we've been playing this for so long, I don't really get that. But hey, go to match, let's have a look at the Mainz team, but I can promise you, chances are we don't know anyone, to be honest. Um, I think I know Schaub, that striker. Lisandro Martinez rings a bell. Could be me, but that is about it. Jerome Boateng, but he's probably 40 years old at this point. We will meet them on the pitch, right? Dressing room. Let's pump our fists and say, um, and I really mean this, I expect you to come back with the trophy. I don't want to be cocky and all, but come on, we are champions. And Mainz almost got relegated. Tunnel interview. Well, Leo, the big game is finally upon us. Can you win the DFP Pokal here today? Well, I hope so, dear Pierre. There he is, our good friend, good old buddy, Pierre Martin. I hope so. We've prepared well and the lads look ready to go out there and give a suitable performance. You will be missing Urukai for the match. Just how big a blow is that to your team's hopes? Um, hmm. I think, and I don't want to offend Urukai, but with Pizzala and Tuanzebe instead of Urukai and Amadozic, I think we'll manage. So it is disappointing, especially for the player, but the team will get by without him. Here we are. I don't know. Where are we? Olympia Stadion at Berlin. Come on, man. Do not make me eat this hat. An immediate first highlight from kickoff that can be really good or extremely bad. Let's have a look. We are at a ban balanced mentality even, uh, just so you guys know. And let's just see where that gets us. I think this will be a highlight for us, unless someone is going to screw up. Madi Camara now with the ball to Tuanzebe. Tonali to Renier. Come on, Renier. Work your Brazilian magic. Okay. Not the best shot, but I'll take that for 40 seconds in. New highlight, Tonali with a free kick. Outswinging ball. Did we win a penalty? V -E -V -E -R, imagine. V -A -R. We're going to the little telly. Checking, 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 and the result is, it has to be, a, it was so clear it was a penalty, right? Penalty awarded, I think Nicolas Gonzalez is going to take it, but I am not sure, or Tonali, uh, but we will see. Gonzalez, as I mentioned, is going to take it, but boom, we are 1-0 up after 7 minutes of play. Gonzalez's 13th goal of the season, wow. Because, to be honest, he did spend a lot of time on the bench as well. So I might want to review that. But a, an awesome penalty. Like, the keeper was like, yo, I'm not gonna bother. We are 1-0 up. New highlight, Tonali again with the free kick. <laughs> I almost thought we had won another penalty. Come on, guys. Someone get to that ball. Thank you. Salam Marcus. That's a good ball to Tonali. Gonzalez again. Back to Tonali. Madi Camara. Oh. Oh, Gonzalez just wide. Well, I think it was a couple of meters wide, but a very good action. And we are dominating as hell uh, in, that, in those first, like, 17 minutes. A throw-in, but Arezzo steals that ball. And I'm pretty sure no one is in front of goal, though. Oh, there is. Tonali to Camara. <laughs> Rocket launched, but over the bar. Uh, I'm not going to shout anything at this point because we are 30 minutes in. We are by far the dominant team. But I would expect that. So I'm not going to praise him to get all uh, complacent and cocky and whatnot. But I do think we have reached halftime. There we go. Their XG is non-existent. And ours is pretty good. Um, we could be a little bit more clinical, guys. 13 shots. 3 on target. Hmm. Dressing room, pump fists, make sure we see things out and ensure our hands are on that trophy at the end of the match.
Start second half, please. First highlight, a throw in for Mainz. Horn. But Muddy Camara immediately steals it, but kind of kicks it away. Ooh, Arezzo with a good action. Come on, Matthias. Skadoosh. Was that a save? Yep. And a good save as well. Damn. Corner kick in swinging ball with Sandro Tonali. And here come the Air Force. Ooh, but Zala heads it, heads it right into the hands of Mula. 55 minutes half passed, and again, we are by far the dominant team, but we are only 1 0 up. Let's keep an eye out for fitness levels as well. New highlight, Salamagas with the long throw in. Gonzalez gets it back to Tonali. Was that a like a deflection? Doesn't really matter because Renier has scored his 20th goal of the season. My God, this is such a breakthrough season for Renier, man. It is insane. Let's look at that again because Tonali, Tonali basically kicks, kicks it to Renier's back. And that is how the ball ends up in the net. Okay, pause game. I am going to praise him now. Um, I'm going to stay at balanced, I guess. Let's have a look for a substitution because Arezzo is not having his best game, to be honest. So let's substitute him for, you know what, let's get big boy Strand Larsen in the advanced forward position. Confirm sub, play ball. Nothing is really happening, so I am going to do my second substitution. I'm going to get Tonali off. Should I get Tonali off? Let's take Tonali. I don't want him to get injured. If he is... Not there for the Arsenal game. We have an issue. So let's get Shaw Serra in the deep line playmaker position. And hmm, okay, let's keep it like this. Let's keep an eye out for fitness levels. New highlight: Salamakis with the throw in, and I think I am going to swap Salamakis in a minute. Ooh, Gonzalez cuts inside. Hmm. If the highlight ends, yep. Let's. Oh, thank you, Mister uh, René Mullenstein. I am going to swap Salamakis, but not for Campanile. I am going to put young boy Baikara on the right wing back position. Uh, yep, that was it. Confirm sub. Let's play out the final five minutes of regular time. But I think I won't have to eat this hat, which is kind of, I mean, a relief. I'm not going to lie. But here we are. The stage is ours for the second time this season. We have the double, we have the leak, and we have the cup. Awesome stuffy. Here we go, man. Mr. Leodemus himself. I think this is Pazella since he is on the pitch. But it doesn't really matter because of fireworks are once again red and white. Well, fireworks, confetti, call it whatever you will. We have won the cup. And now I want to see if our goalkeeper is going to do his cartwheel again. Yeah, there he goes. Do it, Blanco. Do all the cartwheels you want, man. That was awesome. Let's have a look at these match stats. And well, hmm. Um, if there is one game that has clear match stats in the entire series, let it be this one. Damn, 23 shots versus zero. Their XG is still non-existent. And we had two-thirds of the possession. What more can I say? Dressing room, um, outstretched arms, obviously. Congratulations, lads. I am happy with your performances out there. I really am, to be honest. Continue. No interview. Let's have a look at some fan reactions. Unbelievable result. Did not see that coming. What? Come on, man. Renier is just too good. I know. We've done it again. Well, that's our second trophy of the season. That's correct. Vavov Bish Stuttgart do the double. That is awesome, man. Wow. I'm really happy with that, to be honest, because I know it was also the third cup final in a row. But still, it's a cup final after a long season. You never know what's going to happen. So yeah, I like this. And obviously, guys, we will be back for the last game in our fourth season, the Euro Cup final against Arsenal. Once again, let's look at Arsenal. Because I think the, yep, the regular season is over in England as well. And they have finished in sixth position. To be fair, um, I really think we can take them. Let's have a look at their players. Correa, Nelson, Saka. Well, I mean, ooh, Declan Rice, of course. 
Did we play them already? I think we did. Let's have a look at the schedule. I think it was last year. There we go. <laughs> we have actually kicked them out. How could I not think of this earlier? We have kicked them out of the Euro Cup last year in the semi-final. Well, there's your extra dimension, guys. Stay tuned for next week's episode. So guys, that was all for today's video. I really hope you have enjoyed it as much as I have because I, for one, am super happy I'm not eating this hat right now. Let me know down in the comment section what you guys think and what your predictions are for the Arsenal game. I can't thank you enough for watching, guys. If this is the kind of content you want to see more of, feel free to show me some support by liking the video and by subscribing to the channel. Whack on that notification button and you won't have to miss a single video that gets dropped in the future. Once again, guys, thanks for watching. I hope to see you pretty soon.